sometimes true love really does happen. Look at them. They look so cozy together. <laughs> they're all like scrunched up. Usually we have people sit on the couch. They're like separate. No, they're like right tight together. Uh, we have uh, Kipton Locke and uh, Tenley Moles on joining us. Great to have you guys here. Thank you. Uh, your lives have been quite the whirlwind since your adventures on each of your own independent bachelor and bachelorettes and then meeting together on the bachelor pad. Life's pretty good. For the better. Fun whirlwind. It's yes. been so much fun, especially being able to do all of it together. Most all of it together. Most yeah. all of it. Yeah. Well, the one thing that you guys are doing together, you know, life is, is based for you guys in San Diego, but there's the outreach in terms of the charity and the travel that you guys are doing, and we're excited to have you in town. There's an event happening later on tonight called Party Under the Stars to the Stan and Back. Uh, this was something that really is to benefit military families to have the yeah. understanding, and so this is something that's close to both of you that you wanted to be a part of it. Absolutely. Uh, both of us have family in the military or who have served in the past and are currently serving. Um, so really when we um, met our friend Sherry Elliott, the founder of To The Stand and Back, you know. She's so passionate about it. She emailed me originally and, and her son served and told me about the cause and it was something that we had to support with our family backgrounds and uh, a chance to get out to Ottawa and meet everybody and for the right cause. So yeah, please, to the standandback.com, check it out. Anybody can come tonight. Are you looking forward to being there, to meeting the families, to meeting some of the soldiers, just the, the whole environment? I, I absolutely. It's such an honor. I can't, I, I really am thankful and grateful that uh, Ottawa has invited us and welcomed us and that we get to be here too. It's going to be a fun night. With the family. <laughs> it's going to be a really fun night. Yeah, I mean, good cause is great and it's going to be good energy, so. Well, the causes are, are is one thing, and we're going to get back to this. I want to let people know how they can get involved and how they can even drop off a toonie, which it will go an incredibly long way. But charity for you has both has been integral in your afterlife of, of doing the bachelor. So what what yeah. is going on for you? Will go independently because I know life's busy. Oh well, you know I supported a handful of causes prior to doing the shows for years before that. And so when I came off the shows, I was kind of a culture shock, and I just kind of autopiloted back to what I was used to doing. And from the shows, it kind of gave us a platform to, to support causes that were important to us. Mm -hmm. So we've been supporting a handful of things from um, Cystic Fibrosis Foundation to um, Life Rolls On, to Stand Up For Kids, a bunch of charities that help. Mostly kids' causes is what generally pulls me. Um, and then uh, Tenley as well has been supporting a handful of things. And it's just a good opportunity, really. Yeah, there's a lot that's going on. And for you, healthy living, uh, and I, I'm reading through a lot of things. You're doing a lot of stuff with uh, gluten-free. Yeah, so I'm celiac, and uh, I just want to bring, I only found that out four years ago, and I uh, lived a life of being really, really sick, and so want to bring more awareness to that because there's a lot of people living misdiagnosed or undiagnosed, even with severe gluten intolerance and stuff. So I want to spread the word and also just teach it in a healthy living way, not just as a trend or a fad, mm -hmm. but that it's so important. It's not so much of a trend or a fad. This is actually no. affecting people's lives. Like you are, yeah. in, you are in a discomfort, you're in a lot of pain. Yeah. Things just really have a reaction. So it's, it's interesting when people finally speak out about it to say this is actually what's going on. This is what's happening in my kitchen and my body. Uh, so are you looking forward to, to spreading the word and to being able to get on board with projects for this? Yes, I actually am launching a new website. You can go to it. Uh, it's sweetenedfreelife.com and so so that's kind of my passion where I'm going to share my story, recipes, and other healthy living tips and the just things that I love. Has your appetite gotten better? <laughs> I, I've always had a major appetite and right. since I started dating her, I'm now sampling things. I'm the guinea pig, so I eat for two or three people as, as it is pretty much every day. But the truth is, once I met Kipton, my life changed in a healthy way for the better because he inspired me to do the healthy living rather than just what I could eat, so. Or and I started eating everything bad, so <laughs> You were like, you know what, I got the girl, things are good, yeah. let's have a couple of chips and dip. Yes. Uh, what, you know, you, you head to so many of these events, can I ask you what becomes the most common question that you get? Are people asking about the personalities that you were with or what the cameras were like? Do you kind of have like a scripted version of what people like to hear? I think a lot of people ask, um, was it real, was it scripted? That's probably the most common. Yeah. And then if they had favorites or villains, they'll always ask, mm -hmm. is so-and-so really like that? You know, things, things which, like that. Which we have to admit, I did completely when I started talking to you guys as well, so I was guilty of, <laughs> of doing that. <laughs> hey, well, I was uh, really guilty of doing that. Uh, for tonight, this is something that's uniquely special. Uh, do your family members appreciate the effort that you're doing by bringing awareness to causes like this, knowing that they're overseas and that you're still doing things in different cities around North America to, to, to bring attention? Of course, I, I sure hope so, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. I, absolutely, and the whole thing here is people sometimes don't realize these people give their lives, they dedicate mm -hmm. their lives to giving us our freedom and security, so just to acknowledge them, to celebrate them, to 
make them feel appreciated when they come home, you know, nothing like it. So it's such an important cause. It really is a party under the stars. The event is happening later on this evening uh, down at the Cartier Place at the Drill Hall. There's still a few tickets available. Also, there's the whole Tunis. We're trying to get the yeah. Tunis in. Uh, and so if you have the opportunity, drop off your Tunis at the event. Uh, there's a ton of information on their website as well, www.tothestandandback.com, tothestandandback.com. It was a pleasure to meet you Thank guys. Thank you Likewise. so much. It's really nice. I would do have to take a commercial break. We're going to be back to wrap up this edition of CTV Morning Live.